hello YouTube and I know it hasn't been like it's been like a day and a half since I posted but that's only because I um uh, my computer when I was making a video it fro it like literally crashed so I so you know I just go through deleting my files but eventually things build up so anyway how's your day my day is going great today we're gonna be reacting to one of my favorite channels it's a podcast channel and you know I doubt I might I that I admit I dabble in their cop, um, their, um, their, um, and for a podcast, yeah, I dabble in their, um, I dabble in their content, how many views, 9 million views, ever, they, they don't, here, we have light tanks, fast, it's fun, Today, we're going to be going through 20 different albums and deciding if there's a skip or not within all of these track lists. Yes, sir. And let us know what you guys think and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let's get started with The Life of Pablo by Kanye West. I have no skips on this album, and I think that there's different songs where you could have a debate for it. I mean, the one that I, that I did have in contention was highlights that I think that maybe you have as a skip or maybe even something like FML. But to be honest with you, I love doing this album from start to finish. I think everything plays into each other. And it's I just, love this album. If you were to remove a song or let's say skip it, I kind of feel like it ruins the experience for the life of Pablo for yeah. me, so I'm gonna say no. I want to say end. this: I think it's Kanye's best solo album in the last ten years. It's twenty songs, kind of a beautiful mess in the way that you can kind of shuffle Absolutely. the entire track list, and the order won't matter as much, which is pretty cool. That's, and that's a, I that's think a that point. Listen, that's a point. It's crazy to think about how beloved Kanye West catalog is, because regardless of which song I name as a skip, there's gonna be fans okay, that are gonna so be there ripping. Is a skip. There's gonna be fans that are gonna be ripping into me in the comment section and Facts. whoever's done. I love you, but I gotta First be brutally all, honest. And... Um, I want to say something, and uh, it might offend you, it might not. Jay Z is overrated. Okay, am I? Did I say it? Yeah, I did. To and me, gonna do it, highlights to skip off of this track list. Mm -hmm. It features Young Thug in the Dream, and I feel like. When Kanye West is dedicating an entire verse to him wishing he has a GoPro so, you know, he can film himself, you know, having a sex tape. That's why I, I know, but the way that he starts off that and he's even verse. delivering it with, like, this robotic auto-tune, and I'm like, why, Kanye? I can't, I, I can't I like give that. that. I, I, no, but I, I like those types of moments within it. Like, he always has, like, these absurd, like, let's say, concepts or lyrics within his song, and the way that he starts off is pretty interesting. I bet me and Ray J would be friends. So you already know what you're getting out of that, and I, I love that comedic value out of Kanye, so I kind of more saw it in that way, and yeah. it kind of added that to me. I, I like the way that Young Thug and Kelly Price start off the song was really interesting, and Overall, yeah, it's kind of a feature-heavy song, but even I like the whole it. melody of like I want to know right now if you're a freak or not, like that whole rep repetitive part at the end didn't fuck with that too much. When you're looking at other light songs from Kanye, you have classics like all of the lights and flashing okay. lights. Then you have highlights. So to me, it's a skip. All right, let's. Let me see. Where is all the lights? I see low lights. Um, I see lights, but um. now, let's keep going on with this. I don't have it as a skip. I don't have any skips on this album, by the way. Rodeo by Travis Scott. So, is Flying High a skip for you? I used to have it as Whoa. a skip, but then, like with repeated listens, I'm that. like, you know what? Flying High is pretty damn good. I like the way that Toro Imwa and Travis are both kind of going into how they're feeling euphoria off of this high. Um, you know, from the drugs they yeah. took, and I really love the bridge that Toro Imoa has here. Such sweet vocals, and you have this amazing piano riff from Mike Dean. So, with time, it's really grown on me. No skips on Rodeo. No, no skips for me on Rodeo. Absolutely. Like, you know, also, all the great songs, like, even, let's say, Impossible, or let's say, Apple Pilot, like, super low-key tracks on the songs, but, on the track list, excuse me, but I think those are what make Rodeo for me, so... No skips for me. You're good. We keep going. Yes, sir. Well, Next up. I Honestly, never mind by Drake. And this is interesting because it's the newest album that we have on today's list. So mm -hmm. we haven't had the most time to age with it, I want to say. Yeah. But as of right now, I have multiple skips. Okay. I have one track. skip. I have Just one, one skip. Okay. okay I'll explain it? to you why. Because I think where this track list kind of strives. I'm like, it's unique. People, people, people like, can't. People can't. I like playing this from start to finish because it's just the vibe in the background. Like, it's really just background, so background music. music yeah. Exactly. Hmm. So, Action. kind of not too much of a compliment. <laughs> but there's no, there's full of great. Like, example, like, Nick and I were listening to um, Oliver's uh, mixes that he used to put on SoundCloud where, like, you could just put it in the background and, like, it's just the vibe. Like, shit to lock into when you're going into work. What's your skip, though? Downhill. For sure, Downhill. Yeah, yeah. That, I don't even have that as a skip. Uh, really? What um, did you have? I have three skips. So the first skip for me is going to be Falling Back. Wow, I like okay. the production, but Drake just can't hit those falsetto notes. He can't. 
like, well, I mean, not on, that, not, 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 not on that song, but he's had, not only that, um, my second skip would have to be Currents, and of really? course, it's because of that squeaking bed, when every time I hear it, bro, I get fucking nauseous, and I know that it's a staple within Jersey club music, but okay, I just I really don't it. like I it, that. I feel like it also, like, overpowers Drake's vocals, and my last skip would have to be Tie That Binds, Why? and... Listen, I love the Carlos Santana as guitar yeah, it's riff. Fantastic. It's amazing, but Drake just kind of sounds disengaged. It feels like he's not even but present. That was, but that was kind of the. I mean, like that's, that's kind of the, the, kind of the, the sentiment within a lot of tracks here. But it really seemed like he was absent. Oh, but on you that see, song okay. To me. You see, with your last one, I don't kind of agree with you just because, like, I feel like Drake had to be kind of disengaged in because, like, as you were saying, like, those Santana strings are so prominent within that beat that kind of has to lay back a bit and let the beat do its thing. But, okay, that's just, that's respectable. So, honestly, never mind. Yes, I had Downhill, Lou had three. Um, but Flower Boy by Tyler, the creator, I don't mm. have any on here, but no. it's such a nice track list. And, like, if you skip anything on this, it's kind of ruining the album experience for you, to be honest. Absolutely. I mean... It's no secret that since 2017, Tyler, <laughs> excuse me, Tyler's had like the secret sauce to his albums. And this one's no different from start to finish. Amazing track list, even like a skit like sometimes where you have the radio show playing for like 36 seconds. Production is beautiful for that. Why yeah, would I skip that? Absolutely. You know by the I mean? way, guys, we're not going to be including any interludes or any uh, skits on this. So, Flower Boy, safe to say no skips. We're good with that? Absolutely. All right, let's nope. get going on with this. I'll After Hours by the Weekend. This is such a great track. Let's go another album. I feel like you can even be here. Do you think uh, that this is going to be regarded as one of the best you know, uh, albums of the Because they usually do rap, done, so I feel like you shouldn't even sound Absolutely, because The Weekend puts you in a zone with this album. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's this persistent mood where it's very nocturnal. It feels like nighttime, and... From start to finish, Actually, I never yeah. kind of get out of that zone. I stay locked into like just the downfall of the character, the self-loathing, all the themes that are prevalent all throughout. And I just love the old style um, production as well. Not really any skips. I no, mean, no skips. Really. Nah, it, just, it feels like a skips. film score where everything Absolutely. is kind of well fitted in together. Yeah, and, and even at that, like every single, you know, performance by the weekend is so well done and like there's so many different producers also working on this like it's so and i know and I feel like you want to go and the thing is it's like so fine tuned in like you know that he, he really went to the millisecond to get every single thing right Binge yeah. with him in Las Vegas, bro, and just have a fucked mean, up weekend. I, 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 you know I'm, what I'm not I mean? sure if I'd like to do that. I mean, the track <laughs> list, not, kind of, God, listen, the track list kind of takes a negative turn, true. but I mean, <laughs> fuck it, I like observing it. So after hours, no skips. Let me know how you feel about that take in the comments, guys. But Diet Lit by Playboy Cardi and bro, this was amazing. No hey, uh, let me say something. What goals you have? Whole lot of red. I really liked it. Like. If you don't, if you despise Whole Lotta Red Weekend, it was basically. He was, and you know, Cardi basically says nothing in his songs all the time. But he just basically saying your terms and conditions, if you know, if you know that joke. Um, Card, Playboy Cardi, he never misses. Like, his albums are always point blank. Whole lot of red was good. Um, whole lot of red was good. Bro, this die lit was good, and um, that was like my favorite albums. Die lit and die lit and whole lot of red. Whole lot of red's underrated, but that's all I can say. It's so sick, bro. Thank God we were doing this episode because I haven't been through this album in like months, okay? And I had yeah. the pleasure of redoing a listen because it's a super easy listen too, you know. But I do have one skip, and it's fell in love. That's my only skip on the That's whole album. It's actually one of the more popular songs it, off the it, album. It, I get it. It's but not it's great, just, though. It, it is not great. And, like, even, like... <gasps> what, what Open is this it up. Really? Hmm? Open that up. We leave it. Where are we going? Me and my, your mom is leaving. So oh. make sure you look at the... Specific. Can you put them in here? No. Why? Sitting down in a chair. Um, you hear them crying? 